All right, hope everybody's doing uh, well. It was uh, 68 degrees in Philadelphia today, which is incredible for February 23rd. And uh, been working down in the fish room after I took a three mile walk and did some other crabola. These are uh, the red Moscow guppies. Uh, I've been working on these for about nine months to try to clean up the red. So what I did is I took the uh, nicest looking adult males, which are these two, and I put them in with what are actually, technically they would be their half sisters, I guess. They were uh, females from the uh, same female that dropped these guys. And uh, so I, since they were clean color-wise, I put them in with the next generation of females, just three of them. And I have one male in there who's looking very promising. There's nothing but red so far. So this is a, a work in progress, like I said, and the fins on these are great. They're not an IFGA type fin. They're like a high dorsal, half thumb dorsal, whatever. And uh, the tail is, I guess it technically would be a wide tail, which isn't in the IFGA class anymore. Uh, so it's just a beautiful fish and it's something I'm uh, working on. And in the near future, I'm gonna cross one of these nicer males with a female of the Roebuck Reds. Um, and that'll be probably when I free up a tank. So what do you call a zombie who doesn't joke around? Dead serious. He's dead serious. Yeah, it's awful. And one other thing I wanted to show before I get to some of the other fish. This is what I ended up with that cross from the Roebuck, uh, I think it was an albino uh, ATFG red and a, uh, a black Moscow. Uh, the reason I'm showing it, it did end up being a double sword, but a crappy one. But if I can pick it up, I believe with the third generation, we can find them. I believe I have a couple of albinos in here. So hopefully they will, uh, there we go. I believe that's an albino, definitely. And he's gone, that little creep. Oh, I saw a red eye, there we go. All right, this phone's freaking me out. The way it focuses, and give me another shot. There we go, there he is. Definitely an albino. And there's one more in there. So I'm gonna have to keep this going. Uh, hopefully I'll get some better looking males. And uh, this tank is in the process of coming down and I'm gonna clean it and set it back up. So these are some more of the uh, red Moscow's. The couple of trios in here. Uh, they'll probably be for sale. Uh, shortly. I think they're pretty much big enough right now. It's just I'm waiting for the weather to cooperate. So, there's one of them. There's another one. These are nice fish. And there's some females in the back. And these are uh, some black pandas that'll be ready for sale in uh, about a month. Somewhere there's some males in there. And these are some half black pastels. It'll be ready in about a month. I have to do a water change in this tank. And these are the moldies I'm working on. Pretty cool looking. And this is a gigantic uh, batch of purple slash blue Moscows. I'll have to see what color they look when they grow out. But man, we'll see. It's pretty nice. All right, and uh, this tank is also gonna get some work done. These are the nicer looking uh, Tiger King Cobras, but they ended up being a very splotchy uh, group. And I love the color on the males. More orange and black, basically. And you can see they get big tails. 
Uh, they're not the uh, uh, the small tail uh, type of guppy. So very nice. I love these things, and uh, there's a bunch of fry in here as well. That's what I have to take out. So yeah, all right. Let me get over here to some other stuff in the middle of uh, a bunch of water changes. Now these are some more of the uh, red Moscow's. These are pretty clean as well. There is some black in them. Now the females, uh, there's only two in there. But these are really sharp looking uh, fish. I love the fins on them and of course the color. But you can see the females have great fins as well. If they manage to turn to the side. Try to hold this steady. There we go, kind of. Now you can see the females have uh, a, a darker uh, dorsal and there's some scratches in this acrylic tank right there. But uh, this is not passing on to the males. So that's why I selected the cleanest, reddest males. There's a little bit of black in that one and a little bit in that one as well. So it's just an experiment. It looks like most of the color is carried by the males and not the females. They probably pass on the really cool fins. So, yeah, we'll see what goes. Now these are some adults of my uh, Roebuck Reds or uh, Full Reds, which were created by Ed Chiazon up there in Massachusetts or Rhode Island or wherever Ed is. And these are some older ones. You can see the color is fantastic. The fins are great. His uh, body is getting a little funky because he's getting older. And this one looks uh, a little bit better. So, females are uniform, which is great. And uh, very, very happy with this line. I have, uh, guys, one, two, three, four, five, six tanks of them. And that tank is uh, going to get filled up and I'm going to put some more in there. Now this is a cross I did. You're going to say, well, they look like full reds. Uh, let me uh, get my brain to function. It was a uh, an all red albino male to a roebuck red female. And you can see I ended up with something that's, except for the dorsal, extremely close to what the red Moscow's look like. Could be another clue as to what's in the background of the red Moscow. Now I believe I have two different colors in here. I think I have a blonde body, gold body, and a darker, a gray body, uh, like this male. But we'll see. Uh, my original uh, full reds that I bought from Ed years ago and got his funky little certificate allowing me to sell them, uh, they were a, a gray body fish. And what ended up happening was I would get a lot of black, not a lot, but I mean, I get some black streaks in the tail. So when I was able to get the uh, Roebuck Reds about 12 years ago, uh, that's a, a gold bodied one. And that kind of eliminated the black. But I would like to get the, uh, the gray body, the full red line going again. So we'll see what happens with this cross. Obviously there's no albinos, because only one parent had the albino gene. Now supposedly the full reds, Roebuck reds, will throw some albinos. Some people I sold them to have gotten albinos. I've never gotten any albinos. I believe it's due to my water. Uh, my water is about 6.5 and it's soft. And I believe Ed's water was uh, over seven and harder. So, anyway, so that's what's going on with this. They're going to go into a bigger tank, and I'm going to go brother to sister for the first uh, shot, uh, see if I get any albinos, and see what I can do with the color. Now, the uh, next thing I'll do is I will go uh, females in here back to the Roebuck full red males. A couple of them. I don't have the original parents. They kind of kicked it, but I have plenty of others as you've seen. 
Uh, see if I can get down here. Not sure if we'll be able to see this very well. Uh, let me focus back out here. And I guess we got a little bit of dirt on the tank on the side. Now these females, there's three on the left, were Silverado Reds. Uh, I didn't have any males left, so what I did is I put in a, uh, a Roebuck Red, full red male. And as you can see, I have a bunch of fry. The uh, I believe I have both body types, which is uh, the gray body and the gold body. Uh, my aim is twofold on this one. What I want to do is I want to uh, get a gray body, full red, and I also want to uh, bring back the Silverado red. So I think it's going to take a couple of more crosses. That's not in this tank, that's the tank next to it. Uh, so a little tough to see. See if I can get a little closer. That's the male. Yeah, let me try from this end. Because I have the light suspended on the other tanks. Yeah, right, let me try from the other end. But there's a lot of females and, and males in there. I'm gonna have to make a uh, decision at some point. I'm gonna get a little closer. You can see how many fry are in there. And get this thing out of the way. Now, uh, this larger uh, female uh, has a nice red coloration wherever she went. That's a, a younger full red male. Uh, I don't know where that female went. There she is. So, it could be two things. I could end up bringing back the Silverado Reds. But I'll probably have to do another cross to get there. And uh, I would also like to get the gray bodied uh, full reds back. So we'll see what happens. And uh, once again, these are the uh, full reds, Roebuck reds. Very nice fish, very large fish. And it's only two pair in there. They're just in there temporarily. Then I move them back into their 10 gallon tank. So, all right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments or you can send me an email and uh, put my email address in the uh, video description. And I just wanted to thank you for watching.